According to a report by Sudjuch Zetung on July 11, 2023, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Defense Minister Boris Pistorius will reveal a new aid package, worth $770 million during the NATO summit in Vilnius, Lithuania. The package, which will be presented as part of the Vilnius Summit Package, includes two Patriot launchers and 25 Leopard 1A5 main battle tanks from the Bundeswehr's inventory. However, Germany remains opposed to fulfilling Ukraine's request for Taurus-type cruise missiles. Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Defense Minister Boris Pistorius have arrived in Vilnius, presenting a substantial military assistance plan for Ukraine. Referred to as the Vilnius Summit Package, this comprehensive arms package was extensively discussed within government circles earlier this week, as reported by SZ. The aid package encompasses a diverse range of military resources tailored to address Ukraine's urgent needs. It includes 20,000 rounds of artillery ammunition, two Patriot launchers from the Bundeswehr's infantry, 40 Marder infantry fighting vehicles IFV, and an additional 25 Leopard 1A5 main battle tanks. Additionally, the package contains advanced equipment for countering drones and reconnaissance drones, along with vital components for a field hospital. The Patriot MIM-104 system is an advanced air defense missile system used by various countries, including the United States. Its purpose is to detect, track, and intercept incoming missiles and aircraft. Developed by Raytheon, the system combines radars, command centers, and interceptor missiles to provide protection against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and advanced aircraft threats. The system has been deployed by the U.S. Army and gained prominence during the Gulf War. While it has undergone upgrades, such as the PAC-3 MSE, the Patriot system remains an important component of air defense strategies worldwide. The Leopard 1A5 is an upgraded version of the Leopard 1 main battle tank, incorporating several enhancements to improve its firepower, protection, and mobility. The tank is equipped with a 105mm smoothbore gun, advanced fire control systems, and the ability to fire various types of ammunition. Its upgraded armor includes composite and modular add-on armor kits, enhancing its resistance against different threats. With a powerful engine, the Leopard 1A5 can reach speeds of up to 65 km per hour, 40 miles per hour, on roads and exhibits excellent cross-country mobility. The Marder IFV, with variants such as the 1A3 or the 1A5, offers superior armor protection and increased firepower compared to the BMPs currently used by Ukraine, making it a potentially good choice for the Ukrainian forces. Its focus on survivability and offensive capabilities can provide an advantage in combat situations where heavy weaponry is encountered. The MADA's reliability, spacious troop transport compartment, and compatibility with NATO standards make it a dependable platform for infantry support operations. Considering the MADA as an alternative to the BMPs currently used by Ukraine could enhance their operational capabilities and potential for closer cooperation with NATO member states. Government sources state that this carefully crafted package aims to strengthen Ukraine's resilience and significantly contribute to its long-term stability. Germany's provision of these essential resources seeks to enhance Ukraine's defense capabilities and its ability to counter Russian invasion, positioning Germany as Ukraine's second-largest supporter after the US. However, Defense Minister Pistorius reiterated the federal government's refusal to fulfill Ukraine's request for Taurus-type cruise missiles, which would enable them to target Russian armed forces positions well beyond the front line. The government is hesitant due to the projectile's capacity to reach Russian territory. In contrast, France intends to supply Ukraine with Scout cruise missiles. The Taurus KEPD-350 is an air-launched cruise missile designed to be carried by various aircraft and incorporates stealth technology. The missile has a range of over 500 km and is powered by a turbofan engine, enabling it to reach speeds of up to Mach 0.95. It features a dual-stage warhead with a pre-charge and initial penetrating charge for clearing soil or penetrating hardened bunkers. The missile's guidance system includes image-based navigation, inertial navigation, terrain reference navigation, and GPS. It also includes countermeasures for self-defense and electronic countermeasures. The Taurus KEPD-350 is primarily intended for attacking hardened targets such as bunkers, command facilities, airfields, ports, and bridges.